Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And today we're gonna to talk about a topic that I get comments all the time about, and that is success. People are asking me, Yvette, what are they doing that I'm not doing to manifest whatever it is that I want in my life? Why isn't the law of attraction working for me? Today you're gonna to get that answer. If you know it or not, Successful people have certain characteristics about themselves and it's very common amongst those people that are successful. Today you're going to learn what I believe is powerful characteristics or what the successful people do to attract or manifest whatever it is they want in their life. Now listen, if you're serious about changing your life, this video is probably about 10 minutes. So watch the video all the way to the end Take what I'm giving you and put it into action. That's the only way you're going to change your life. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a manifesting channel that gives you law of attraction, metaphysical information to change your life. So if you want to know what are the characteristics or what is it that the successful people are doing to manifest anything in their life, keep watching. I'm back everyone. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about what successful people do that you may not be doing to manifest or attract whatever it is you want in your life? Now, listen everyone, these things that I'm about to tell you worked for me. I went from house cleaning, food service, direct care, to being a nurse, to being on the top of my ladder as a nurse, to owning an apartment building, having multiple houses, having cars, all of these things I have done, and it's based on these characteristics. So if you really want to make a change, take notes, everyone, and start putting these things into action. Now, number one, everyone, is basically you really need to know yourself and know what it is that you want. If you don't know what you want, we're going to look at our lives as a ship. And if you don't know what you want, you're going to be in that ocean circulating, going nowhere. So basically, you need to know what it is that you want. But I will tell you this. It is okay to critique it as you go along because that just shows growth. Now, number two is something that is powerful. And I'm telling you, every one of us go through this. And that is fear. Successful people take their fear head on. They don't allow fear or worry to stop them from doing whatever it is they need to do. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, there is not a time that I accomplished something that there wasn't some type of fear in me. But you know what? That is one thing that is not going to stop me from getting, doing, and having whatever it is that I want. I just jump in and I go straight forward meeting that fear head on. Successful people don't let fear stop them. And now this takes us right into number three. Now, number three is going for whatever it is that you want. Successful people do not procrastinate like so many of us do. Successful people, once they know what they want and they're fearless at it, they go right in it and they just go for whatever it is. They don't sit back and say, well, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow becomes the next day, the next day, the next day. If you want something, if you want to change something in your life and you know what it is, go for it. Don't sit back watching TV or playing video games every single day. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm saying every single day, letting that consume your time is not going to work. If you want to know what you're doing wrong in your life and what successful people do, they don't procrastinate. They get out there and they do whatever it is that they need to do. Now, listen, you guys, this is powerful. Reading a book is taking action, okay? Finding more things on the internet is taking action. All of these things that you're doing to better your life is taking action. You're going towards whatever it is that you want and that is what successful people do. Now, number four is a, is, a, is a given. Number four for successful people is that they stay focused. Not only do they know what they want, take their fear head on, 
don't procrastinate, but they stay on focus. They stay determined. They don't let other things or other people come and take them out of whatever it is they need to do. They're not going to let you stop them from getting where they need to go. These are things that successful people do. And if you're very serious about your life, you'll be doing it too. Now, number five is something a lot of people have problems with, and that is needing to let go of what no longer is for you. Letting go of people that are not for you or people that can knock you down. Now, listen, I'm not telling you to just drop them totally, but try to spend more time with people that are like-minded, people that have goals like yourself. Now, listen, if you don't have anyone that can help you, spend more time reading books, doing things that's going to help you move along your path. Successful people get rid of people that are negative, that are throwing a wrench in at their dreams. Successful people know when to let go of, what, of what's no longer for them and move on. Now, listen, sometimes this can be a job. This can be a close family member. This can be certain things in your life that you just know is not for you and you let it go to allow the universe to open the doors and bring in things that are new. Now, number six is something that basically you're going to do from the beginning, from the time that you even thought about whatever it is that you wanted. And that is visualization, people. Seeing yourself having whatever it is that you want, being in whatever situation that you want. But without vision, the people shall perish. You guys have to understand this. You need to see yourself having being or doing whatever it is you're trying to bring into your life. Listen, some people say, then I don't know how to visualize. Well, let me tell you, every time you think of something, you are visualizing, okay? And you are working on default because you are often bringing in some negative things in your thinking and that is what is showing up in your life. So you need to spend a little time in visualizing what it is you want to keep your ship steering in the direction of what it is that you want. Now, there's other things that you can do is you can write out, call scripting, whatever it is that you want in your life. You can state affirmations and state what it is that you want. But the thing is, you need to do something to state that you already have what it is that you want. See yourself, speak it, write it, whatever it is that you want. Place pictures all around your house with sayings, with affirmations, stating what it is that you want so that you see it every day. This is what successful people do in one way or another. Even if they don't realize it, they already see themselves having whatever it is that they want. Now, let's get to number seven. Now, number seven is something that I speak about often, everyone. This is something that I am a true believer in, and that is confidence. Listen, whatever it is you want in your life, whatever it may be, confidence is going to get you there. Now, you might say, well, Yvette, sometimes you just don't have enough confidence. If you believe you can have something and you're taking action and you know it's already there for you, you know the universe is going to bless you, your confidence is going to increase. Now, listen, why is confidence so important for me? Because once you have confidence, you have a power inside of you that is listening to you. And when you have confidence that you're going to be, do, or have whatever it is that you want, the universe is going to open up doors to make sure you get it. When you have confidence, it's like putting power to your ship and having your ship speed forward fast. Listen, confidence has always gotten me wherever it is I want it to be. Confidence is what always worked for me. I always knew I was going to be successful and I still do. I always knew I was going to have this, have that. I always knew that I was independent, that I was the person that was going to do whatever it is that I wanted to do and I did it. Listen, this is what I am telling you. Confidence alone is going to get you where you want to be. 
Now, number eight goes along with some of the things that I already um, spoke about, and that is mimicking other people that have what it is that you want. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying copy off people or anything like that. I'm saying read books. Go places where people are that are successful. Go and eat if you can't even afford it. Go to fancy restaurants or go to functionings and have a salad. Get out there and just be around other people than the people that you know. Now, listen, you guys, being around people that have what you have or less is not going to take you further. Even if you are successful at this time, you need to broaden your horizon and be around people that have even more than what it is that you have. By doing this, you're saying to yourself, if they can do it, I can do it too. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And it will take you further than you can even imagine. Whatever it is that you want in life, study people that already have it. Study successful people. Read books on Napoleon Hill, um, Joseph Murphy, Stuart Weil, Reverend Ike. All of these things, anything to get you where you need to go. Bill Gates, anything, Steve Harvey. These are the people that did something and they're at the top of their game. Oprah Winfrey, whatever it is that these people have done, Tyler Perry, do exactly what they did. Listen to their life story. Jim Carrey, he wrote himself a check and placed it in his wallet. He sat on Rodeo Drive looking at all the beautiful homes and all the things that were surrounding him and visualized himself being, doing, and having that. These are the little things that you can say, hey, look, this worked for these people. I'm going to do it too. If it worked for them, it will work for me. Now, my last trait that these successful people have, including myself, is gratitude. Listen, you guys. The universe loves to bless people that are grateful for whatever it is that they have. If you have a house and it's not what it is that you want it to be, enjoy it. You have a house. Some people don't have a house, okay? The universe will bless you with something even more. If, it, if you want a car, the universe will bless you with a new car if that's what you want a new career, a higher promotion, a new business, new opportunities. When you are grateful for whatever it is that you have and you show gratitude to others and love and appreciation, these things go very far. Just being happy is going to take you far. When you see successful people, they don't knock down the next person. And if they do, the universe will bless them with being knocked down by someone else. This is just the law of attraction. This is the law of karma. No matter what it is you believe in or what tactics you use to get where you are, those will come back to you and knock you back down. When you show gratitude and appreciation for other people, you can do nothing but steer your ship directly on the course that you're headed for. That could be money, that could be love, that could be better health. Whatever it is, you are steering yourself on the right track and that's all you need to know. Okay, everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and today we just spoke about the characteristics or what successful people do to manifest success, happiness, love, abundance in many forms. If you want more videos like this, or if you want to know more about manifesting or attracting things in your life, subscribe, tap the bell, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Another thing, anything you want to know about my world of metaphysics is in the description. Please go there. And please, people, if you want more videos on manifesting or change your life or the law of attraction or scripting or visualization, Please go to the playlist on my channel and you will find a playlist for each and every one of these things. So again, this is Yvette and Namaste.